Welcome back friends. One of last video I have showed how to create a multiple instance of Spring Boot application using IntelliJ. Okay, I have given that video description in this video. Please take a look. In this video, I will going to show how to create a multiple instance using command prompt. Using command prompt. Apart from that, I want to know what is the instance name of particular Spring Boot application. That also, we will see how to do that. Okay, let's go into the video now. See, these are the same demo application which I showed in the last uh, example. The same demo demo application. Here, I have added one more uh, um, field environment. I auto wait that environment object. In the get mapping method, I am saying, I am from instance, what is the instance name? I am from the instance, what is the instance name? That instance name attribute, I need to add inside the environment variable. Let's see how to do that. This is a simple application. Now I'm going to create a two instance of this demo application through command line. But when I start each instance, I'm going to add this environment variable. In this in this variable, I'm going to assign different variable, different value for each instance. Okay. See, this is the location of my application. I'm going to mvn clean install. I'm saying mvn clean install. Yeah, build is successful now. Now I want to run this application for the Java iPhone jar iPhone D. Now I want to give a server port server dot port equal to 9091. Then again iPhone D. What is the property I'm using here? Instance name, right? Just copy that instance name property iPhone D followed by instance name equal to instance one that's it you enter oh, I, yeah instance one then i need to specify the jar file name right that i forgot to mention what is jar file target iphone demo what is your jar file name this is a jar file name right just copy this refactor rename copy this then paste it so what i am saying here java iphone jar iphone d server dot port my server port is 9091 in this uh, demo instance application should run under 9091 then i am saying iphone d instance name equal to instance one then jar file I mentioned Spring Boot application jar file is available under target. Jar file name is demo iPhone 0 .0 0 0.0.1 iPhone snapshot.jar. Hit enter. Here I am saying instance name equal to instance 1, right? So this that particular variable available in the environment variable i can access environment dot get property instance dot name when you say instance dot name what i value i mentioned that i mentioned uh, instance one right that one will print here that one will print i am from instance instance one will print here this endpoint return that information which uh, this endpoint return i am from um, instance one whatever instance name i passed while starting the application See here local of 9091 print i am calling this i am calling this endpoint this will return i am from instance instance one i am from instance instance one instance one returned by this particular property why because i i have i, I have passed the instance one value to the instance or name attribute while starting the spring boot application okay now i want to start one more instance of this demo application for that I'm going to open one more command prompt.
Okay, now the same command we need to say Java hyphen jar, Java hyphen jar, hyphen d server dot server dot port equal to this time I am saying 9092 9092 then hyphen d just copy this instance name I don't want to make the spelling mistake instance name hyphen d hyphen instance name equal to I am saying instance 2 then followed by jar file name jar file name is uh, sorry I copied that just again copy this paste it and start the server this time I am saying this demo the same demo of Spring Boot application should run under 9092 that instance name I am providing instance 2 let's wait for starting the server see the port number is 9092 the port number is 9092 the same demo Spring Boot application started under 9092 let's start uh, let's try to access this method okay I copy the same endpoint open the new tab to slash print see I am from instance 2 I am from instance which come is printing I am from instance 2 this is printing I am from instance 1 that's it okay this is how creating a multiple instance of Spring Boot application from the command line please try yourself if you if you are facing an issue please let me know I will help you out I'll come up with uh, some interesting video soon until then bye bye from Suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video